Hi everyone, Keela Zetra here. Uh, today I've just received this massive, massive package uh, from the Butcher's Block. I mean, this thing is, I can't put it in the frame, it's bloody huge. Uh, mate, I think you want to be overboard. <laughs> this thing is massive. Um, mate, thank you so much. Um, yes, your parcel's coming your way, but Jesus, mate, you want to be a little bit nuts here, mate. <laughs> um, if you haven't checked out Butcher's Block, he's a great Aussie picker. Um, I will leave a link in the description. He loves his Lockwoods, as do I. He's quite good at picking them too, so um, he's got quite a collection too. Um, alrighty, let's get into it. So I've just got that there to uh, keep everything proper and good. It's got addresses and stuff on there, so. Um, Alright, so. This side out. A lot of bubble wrap. I can feel a lot of bubble wrap. Okay, bubble wrap there. Okay, I can feel some stuff coming out now. It's, um, wow, very well packaged, mate. It's a uh, very, very well packaged. Wow, that's uh, quite the bundle there, mate. Um, well, what is this? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Wow, it's a bit of a. This is a uh, treat. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff in here, mate. Um, I don't know what to start. I'm starting, this is like Christmas. I'm, starting, <laughs> I'm speechless, mate. Um, get rid of that piece. Alright, I'll start with the small ones here, or the smaller items, easy to open items. And um, yeah, we'll have a look. Wow, very well packaged, mate. This thing is glad wrap, like cl cling wrap. I grabbed the wrong side, didn't I? Oh yeah, that's awesome, mate. It's a great idea. Check that out. Ching. Oh yes, this is a uh, oh two three four forty five with a brass like a brass shackle. Look at that. I did not have one of these with a brass shackle. I got one sitting over there, a steel shackle, but not a brass shackle. And I might have got this one from Chris Capone. I'm not sure, but he he sent me one of these. Um, wow, C4 Keyway, man, that's beautiful, dude, patina on this is absolutely gorgeous, I don't know if the camera does it justice, it's got the logo on the back, if you can see that, it looks like a old Sagasco South Australian gas company logo, but not quite, it's like a flame, there we go, pretty, pretty cool, wow, bro. Thanks so much. Um, oh, don't be doing that. Alright, get the next one. Okay. Oh, oh, this is a 2.45. With a reverse C4. No, it's a C4. I'm tripping. And another brass shackle. I told him I love my brass shackles and he's... It's, oh, what a legend. This beautiful 245. Absolutely stunning. Brass shackle. Oh my god. That's too many of the brass shackle. Oh, jeez, mate. You really, really outdone yourself, mate. I think I might have to uh, send you a second package, mate. we've got here oh that's right he's been getting I watched his video he said he's been getting into paracord stuff so I think he's he's made these himself that's awesome so here we've got a oh, this has got a JA QA so this is a 334 B45 Lockwood as blue like the one sitting over there that's a new one over there um, look at the patina on that that's, it looks awesome Looks beautiful. Yeah, it's got it's got the JA keyway, which is a, a restricted keyway. That is bloody awesome, mate. Thank you so much. Alright, so got a couple of odd bits here which I'm not sure what they are. I have no idea. Um there's a blade here. I've got a little 
something in here. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, he sent me some vape stuff. How cool of him. Oh, check that out. All different types of wire. Looks like some Clapton stuff here. Some alien one. Some doubles. Because I do vape. Oh, and some pre-made coils. Oh, look at these chunky ones here. Oh, these are mega ones, man. Look at those Clapton ones there. Nicely made. Oh, I haven't made coils in years. I, th I think I might have to start using my tanks again. My dripper tanks. And uh, all my RDAs. And um, chuck a few of these babies in there. Because at the moment, what I'm using is a um, just one of these. to vapor resto with the vapor resto tank. With a pre-made coil. Yeah, I know it's pretty sad. Getting lazy in my old age, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's gone flat the battery, so that wasn't a good example of me vaping at all. Oh, check out this bag of goodies here, guys. Look at oh man, bro. Yeah, spend some time. Check that out. I can be like a bracelet, but I'll, I'll get a big wrist, so I don't know if it'll fit around my wrist, but I'll use this as a keyring or something, or... Man, this has got a wicked shuckle. Man, this is awesome work, bro. Check that out. Looks sick. Very nicely made. Chris Capern, you're, you're the man of Paracord. What do you think, mate? This is, this is pretty bloody awesome, isn't it? Thank you so much, Butcher, mate. That's awesome. Got a nice pink one here. Thanks, mate. Suits my personality. So, yeah, I'll be hanging this off my missus. Um, uh, yeah, I'll give this to my missus. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, how cool is that? That is the sickest keyring I've ever had, man. So this must be, this is the keys, obviously. It's the locks, I suspect. So let's try this one in here. Oh yeah, off the back, got him. All right, so second one. So now the JA is gonna be this one here. Oh, look at the cuts on this one. He's made the, his own key, that's for the 245. Oh. Did you hear that? That just, boink. Very, very nice and key retaining as they are. Um, beautiful. It's even got brass ball bearings, it looks like. I might trip on out. I will have to come back to that. That is a beautiful, beautiful lock, that one. And this keeps falling down for some reason. Stay there, mate. And this must be for the JA. So let's use the lane key. Or well, the CCB34R, which is the, not the lane, it's the Corbin or something, or the, um, it's the same as the CB44R, which is like one of these keys. Just with a different bow. Um, this has got the Corbin. It's Corbin. Corbin bow. And this has got the... So this is a CB34R. And this is what you'd get on a CB44R. So the only, the only difference is the... The key bow. But they both have the same warding. But this one's been modified, as you can see, to fit the... Actually, it's reverse, actually, for some reason. This might be... I might be holding a reverse profile on here. No, no, it's the same key. It's just... It's been heavily modded to fit this JA, which works perfectly, mate. That's awesome, man. Beautiful homemade key. Check that out. I'm loving this paracord stuff, man. That is sick. Absolutely awesome, bro. You've un outdone yourself, mate. Still got this to go. I'm scared. So he, he sent me some of his uh, famous tensioners that he uses. So we've got one here. So we've got like a thin one here. And this one's thicker. But um, yeah, they're very similar to the Sparrow sort of style ones, but they have teeth as well, but his seem to work a lot better. Um, when, when he picks his locks, they actually, they stay in there. So I'll definitely be using these, mate. Thank you so, so much. And here we have... That's a very cool shape tensioner. 
So I guess if you're going to pick a lock, maybe these are, these are like for lottos. Um, you can really, oh yeah, you've got a super control over your tension there. That's awesome. That's great, mate. We have another one here. Huh. Very nicely made, mate. So this will fit a whole variety of um, keyways. This one's not obviously for this keyway. Uh, probably something like this would be though. Yeah, look at that, perfect. And it just stays in there. Rock it back and forth. It's gonna fall out, of course, but if you did it to intention, it took a few goes. Look at that one there, that's beautiful, that one. That one really stays in there. And this little little one here, this is a skinny one, this might be some skinny little keyways. So yeah, they're in three thicknesses. Just like out of the factory, mate. Awesome, man. Alrighty. So we got five tensioners, bro. Jesus. A couple of locks. Um, this thing. This, oh my mate, coils. And and then this, you got this. Wow, right, bro. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to need a blade to open this. It's going to be a specialty item in here. More finger up. Oh, yes. I think I know what this is here. This is a... Um... Oh, what? It's got a base to it too. Sweet, guys. This is a 334B45 with a bloody jacket on it. I've never seen one of these with a, with a, with a bloody jacket on them. So that would go around your shackle there. Um, this is an A keyway. Hmm, I'll have to go through my keys and see if I can uh, figure something out there. Let's see this B24. Nah, it's totally different. This is a Gen 6. This might be inline 6 or status 6. It's awesome how I pretend to know my keyways, isn't it? <laughs> so, yes, I'll definitely be giving this one a pick. I'm just trying to get this jacket off the show one here. So, it's a 334B45. Looks bloody brand new. Bullant security. But, you know, but check out this jacket. Like, that's awesome. So, he's given, now he's given me incentive to pick it open. Stainless shackle. I did not know they come with stainless shackles. This must be like a like a like a lotto maybe for some industry. Um, I'm not too sure. Cause I've never seen one of these with a jacket like this. I've seen the older two three fours like that, uh, two three four forty fives with jackets on them, but never one of these. That's super cool, bro. So I'm gonna pick this straight after this video actually and have a look. This is um, it's an awesome, nice keyway too. A little bit tricky, but yes. Wow, thank you so much, mate. Thank you, Butcher's Block. You have outdone yourself, mate. Um, loving your paracord stuff. This is an awesome, awesome keyring. Keeping this for sure, mate. I'll be carrying that with me. I'll, I'll, I'll turn this into a keyring or something, or maybe I can put this on my son's little wrist or something. Just put, put like a leash on him. Ah, just joking, I wouldn't do that to him. And, and the tensioners, that's awesome, bro. Oh, wow. I don't know what I gave me the blade for, though. Was I supposed to open the uh, box with the blade? Yeah, I probably was. Damn it, sorry, bro. I just pulled it out. But yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still good. Anyway, I'm rambling now. I am so thankful, Butcher's Block, mate. Thank you, thank you so much, mate. This, uh... This is means so, so so much to me, mate. And um, yes, I think I might have to upgrade the parcel to a second one for you, mate. So. <laughs> anyway, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Butcher's Block. Check him out. Give him some love. Give him some subs. Um, he's he will be in the description. So please check him out. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.